I really enjoyed math, I really enjoyed sciences. Um, again, growing up in South Florida, lots of outdoors. Um, I grew up near the ocean. My, my dad was actually a fisherman, and so I grew up r running around a boat yard and on boats, and I always thought that was kind of cool and, and thought I'd want to do something to, something to do with the ocean. I was very fortunate that the school that was local that I went to had an ocean engineering program, and I thought, well, I don't even know what that means, you know? And I said, well, I think I know what an engineer does, you know, and there's mechanical engineers, computer engineers, and you know, they build things. Hey, that's kind of cool. And they said, well, we have an ocean engineering program. And I said, well, that, that sounds like fun. I'm not even sure what that means, but what do you do? And they said, well, you know, we design and build structures that are in the ocean environment. Everything from oil platforms to Navy ships to submarines, underwater acoustics, how to sound travel through the water. And I thought, well, that's exciting. That's different. Um, how fun would that be to build cool things to go in the water. SBIR is the Small Business Innovation Research. So we invest O&R science and technology dollars into small businesses, developing sort of the crazy technologies and the, the next generation of robots and the next generation of unmanned systems out of their garage, um, out of a, a warehouse with just a few people. So some of the really cool technologies that I've worked on over my career, um, I've seen everything from underwater unmanned vehicles, so submarines that run on their own. We have uh, aerial vehicles, so small airplanes that small businesses have invested in that are unmanned. We've invested money into a changing a radar detection system that has now become a storm chaser. So they use it in a system that actually chases tornadoes and can give us feedback and data um, so that we can learn more about the tornadoes. And that's, that's always exciting. We also have technologies that we've developed crane systems that um, can pick up large ISO containers that move them from ship to ship. The boat doesn't have to go back to dock somewhere to pick up cargo. We can send another ship out to a larger ship and it can actually transfer. Um, even during very high seas, we have two boats moving up and down and a crane that's picking up a large, huge container and trying to transfer it from boat to boat without damaging the boat or the people on the boat. And, and that's very exciting. So.